Hi, everybody. I'm Tori. I'm Courtney, and we're your Bitch Pack friends. We have an exciting theme episode today. We're going to be talking about marriage. So some marriage is starting, some marriage is possibly ending, and some relevant engagement rumors. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. Um, Courtney, any thoughts? Start us off. Who could it, who could it be? <laughs> who could it possibly be? <laughs> All right. Well, do you want to start with the happy story or the sad story? The happy story. All right. The happy story. The happy story is that Millie Bobby Brown, star of Stranger Things, and other things um, among others <laughs> uh she got married uh in in the last month secretly to her boyfriend of a few years jake bon jovi son of john bon jovi um and it was a it's like the headline for this marriage is that she's 20 he's 22 and everybody is like well not everybody a lot of people are like they're too young they shouldn't be doing this but they did it and they seem like they're really in love. And so they're married. They're not engaged. They're married. They're married. I guess okay. they were giving off. They were like telling people that they were getting married at the end of the summer. And then they like were like, boom, we're married. Just kidding. Snuck it Beginning in. of the summer. <laughs> uh, I feel like I... people in Hollywood have to do that to not yeah. get bombarded. Yeah. And I was reading that at the even the, at the venue, like they use fake names. So nobody, none of the event staff knew that they were getting married that day until they like showed up and were like, Oh, that's Millie Bobby Brown. (laughs) That's very smart. (laughs) Yeah. Well done. I I feel like was like, is classy because they're not like they, I feel like they are kind of like in the headlines a lot, but it seems like they're not really trying to be like, they go, they go to events, they're on the red carpet, but they're not like milking their relationship for all it's worth to get more famous and i right. appreciate that they're, they're not kardashians right <laughs> exactly um but yeah what so what do you think about so they started dating i think three years ago so she was 17 he was 19 and mm-hmm. i was reading that they became friends on instagram oh, cute. and then she was like he's cute i want to talk to him and so they like became Instagram friends and then they met up in real life and started dating and now they're married. And... I like that. That's very normal. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do you think about like their age? Do you feel like they're too young? Do you feel like that's an issue or no? Um, I'm not worried about it. I, I mean, it works for some people. That would not have worked for me. But it, some people get married that young and they last forever. I mean, like years ago, that was completely normal. That's what everybody was doing. Yeah. And they all stayed married for the most part. Um, yeah. Now, now if you get married before you're 30, people are like, what are you, a child bride? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are you stupid? Yes. Yeah. I, I, I think they can do it if they want to. Why not? I yeah. like, it's not their age that bothers me. It's Hollywood. Yeah. Nobody in Hollywood seems to last. That's a good I mean, take. It's rare. Um, also, I was reading that his parents, so John Bon Jovi is married to his high school sweetheart and they're still married. And so I feel I like that's, that. a, that's a good sign. Yes, yes. that's a very good sign. <laughs> this kid has had good role models for marriage, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. And um, I, I always think, like, yeah, I think they'll be fine. Um, mm-hmm. I actually think it would be really cool. Um, like a good precedence of like, it's like, you don't have to be afraid to get married. You can get married yes. when you're young. When you're a legal adult, like, <laughs> right. you're not like a child. Like, I don't know why people act like 25 year olds are like children that like, they used to be like running households and having jobs and yes, doing all this stuff. They used to be proper adults. <laughs> be responsible for their own lives. Yeah. Um, they can but, still do it if they want to. Yeah. Plus they're both like super rich. So I feel yeah, like that makes, things, fine. <laughs> that makes things easier. They've already uh, checked that off the list. They have the careers under, under control. Yeah. I um, also love, so like, I think we've sent each other interviews of her talking about her animals. Oh. Yeah, and she like loves anybody with like a farm of animals, I just I trust the person they are. Yeah, she has something like eight animals, and like not dogs and cats, like goats and yeah, they're chickens. like outdoor. Yeah, they're like she, farm animals. She, <laughs> but I don't even know if she lives on a farm. I think she just has them at her. House. They're like in her backyard. She's got a shed. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, I feel like that makes her like no, more. I mean, oddly, I feel like that makes her more normal. Like she just loves animals. She's not like out clubbing every night. Yeah, yeah, it makes her seem just like a normal person who happens to be an actress. Yeah. Um, I always think of this, whenever somebody talks about like getting married young, I always think of on Parks and Rec when um, 
did you watch that show? No, I, I don't know how I haven't watched it because I love Chris Pratt. You would, you would love that show. And huh? what's her name? Audrey Plaza. <laughs> yeah, Audrey Plaza. Well, I love them both. Well, there's a scene where their characters get married and everybody's like, they're too young. They're too young. And they're like in their 20s. And, and Ron Swanson sits there and he's like, listen, I've been divorced twice. And he's talking to Leslie Nope. And he's like, you can't handle, you can't manage a relationship. So I don't think that we're the people who should be judging this. He's like... Right. everybody's everybody's just doing their best and I say let them try and and like, like <laughs> people love to hate on like other people's relationships and like oh we'll see how long it lasts and like they're gonna get divorced someday and it's like who fucking cares there are worse things than having to get divorced <laughs> yeah yeah at least and, and at least they try I'm I, but I also think that they're gonna make like I I feel more confident about them than like literally any other person in Hollywood getting married <laughs> <laughs> yeah you have a point there so yeah no our but next I, story just proves that but yeah I agree like everybody all these people that are waiting to get married honestly sometimes I feel like being older when you get married just increases your likelihood of divorce because then you're like man it was really nice when you're I could settling. do whatever I w- <laughs> it was really <laughs> nice when I could do whatever I wanted <laughs> you get used to the single life if, yeah but yeah or you're settling you're like oh no I'm 38 I need to have a kid you panic yeah I guess this guy (laughs) yeah he'll do um but yeah big fan uh also I um in her engagement announcement Millie Bobby Brown's engagement announcement she quoted uh she's a big Swifty so she quoted (laughs) she said I think she said uh I've loved you three summers now I want them all and I was like she gets it they're they're gonna last forever (laughs) till death yeah um yeah so I feel like she has like some normal like as much as her life is not normal I feel like she has some normalizing forces and Mm -hmm. you know I don't know anything about this guy other than he looks like the human he looks to me like the human like that scar from the Lion King was based on oh my gosh (laughs) and I don't I don't have like a picture of him in my head or anything I know absolutely (laughs) nothing about him except now he's her husband yeah well I think he's a model so, um, okay. so he's hot. Yeah, he's handsome. And um, what was the other thing about? Oh, she, Millie Bobby Brown got some flack, I guess, because she said at her bachelorette party, it was like all guys and all of her husband's friends. And um, everybody was like calling her a pick me girl. And I was like, stop being so mean. <laughs> like, let her friends be her friends. <laughs> what is stupid? I, I have also seen the same idea where like girls who have a bunch of guy friends get picked on so bad and they're considered like one of the guys and girls are and girls and guys are like okay you're obviously fucking all your friends it's like what why is that why are people so triggered by that yeah they're jealous Uh, yeah i would love to be one of the guys yeah it's more fun and less drama (laughs) yeah guys are so like if you're at a party at least me, like it's so much easier to talk to the guys, the husbands, yeah, than it is the gr- the wives. I don't know why it just is. Because you don't have you're like not playing a game of emotional chess whenever you're talking to them. <laughs> like, yes, that's probably. I remember probably it. Like, so you don't have any sisters, and neither do I. And I remembered like being a child and going over to my friends' houses that had like a bunch of sis, like all sisters or just a bunch of sisters, mm-hmm. and being like. I have no idea what's going on in this house. <laughs> it was a constant cat fight. <laughs> like everyone was is never yelling. civil. <laughs> everyone Everybody yelling. was mean as hell. <laughs> There's a lot more like physical fighting than I anticipated. <laughs> like yeah. stealing each other's stuff and like being saying the meanest things I've ever heard. <laughs> so <laughs> mean. <laughs> I, and then, I, yeah, that's one of my memories <laughs> too. My friends who had sisters. Mm-hmm. I was like, wow, they are mean. Yeah. And I feel like that translates into like being an adult because now, yeah, now, I mean, I wouldn't say that all, I don't have any female friends or that all my friends are guys, but it's just so much easier to be like, wow, the Tigers did great yesterday, huh? (laughs) 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 Try and navigate the complexities of like the political dynamics of whatever's happening. Yes. The only, I will say the only bad thing about trying to be friends with guys is like, I I feel like high school years, if you're too nice to a guy, you're 
you're like accused of leading him on, even yeah. though it's like, you're just being nice. You're just his friend. Yeah. It's like, Oh, you led him on like how, by not being a bitch. So, and that, like, that exactly. kind of, <laughs> that kind of has translated for me into like being an adult is like, yeah. make sure your husband's friends don't think you want to fuck them. <laughs> like be, yeah. be friend. you can be friendly with them. Yeah. Don't and be what- friends with them. Unfortunately, the the wedding ring is not enough of a symbol of yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not trying to bang you. I'm just trying to have a conversation, a light hearted <laughs> conversation. Yeah, yeah, that's valid. No, it's true. There's so there's pros and cons is what we're trying to say. There's all, pros and cons all relationships. <laughs> well, we wish uh, Millie Bobby Brown and Jake Bon Jovi the best. Um, I think they're gonna. Best. I don't think they need it. I think they're fine. Yeah, they're fine without us. But you still have mm-hmm. it, you guys. Well wishes. Yeah, we uh. got you. <laughs> um, but some there's so there's another couple that is rumored to be in a little bit of trouble in recent weeks, and that is uh, Benifer, Ben Affleck, and John, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Color me shocked. Uh, you didn't think they were gonna make it after rekindling their flame uh, after um, twenty I, years? I didn't care. I. I I just, but I'm not surprised. Like, I didn't think ahead to the future. (laughs) So it's not confirmed that they're getting divorced, but there are rumors. And the rumors are fueled by, I guess they weren't photographed together for 50 days, which is a lot because they're photographed together all the time. Mm -hmm. And then JLo was on the board or the planning committee of the Met Gala and she went by herself without him. Um, Okay. So those are fueling the rumors. Also... Not to bring up the Tom Brady roast again, but Ben Affleck was on at the Tom Brady roast and he did a terrible job. Not did funny he? at all. Not funny at all. And he went on at the at the end and he like didn't sit out like with everybody else. And they said that he did that because he didn't want to get made fun of. Because <laughs> he did such a bad job. I was like, what a bitch. No, because I didn't his even... life, because his life oh, is so easy to make fun of. Like, you know see. how they all roast each other like during the roast? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, no, I'm just going to come out, make fun of Tom Brady a little bit, and then go back. Yeah, home. I didn't even know he was there. So obviously nobody's sharing it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it wasn't good. It wasn't funny. And he just looked, he looked bad. He looked kind of haggard. But also, I mean. He has for a he, while. He parties a lot. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Um, and then there was this, so Jennifer Lopez is promoting a new Netflix movie. And, um, I, I guess one of the reporters asked, asked her directly, like, can you, can you speak in response to some of the divorce rumors between you and you and Ben? And she's like, she's like, you know, that's an inappropriate question. And then, uh, Simu Liu, who's like the Asian guy that was, uh, Ken in the Barbie movie he's in that movie too and he like he like got up and like yelled at the reporter and like shut it down which was a very Ken move to do he was like very don't Ken. ask don't ask her that question like that's inappropriate and he's uh, got her back yeah it was it was cool of him to do that but mm-hmm. anyway all that to say the rumors are swirling and they've and if had, they were fine wouldn't she have just been like that's not true yeah yeah and they've I guess they've done like a couple of like intentional like walk like paparazzi walks you know so Uh, people people see them with their wedding rings on or whatever i was also seen i don't know if it's real but there was a picture zoomed in of him in a car and it shows his phone where like she's calling and it says jennifer affleck and people are like see they're fine i'm like he's not 12 he's not gonna go change her name in his phone future (laughs) ex-wife yeah (laughs) jennifer not affleck (laughs) yeah (laughs) Um, but yeah, these two, I mean, I have less, I, they're just so unlikable. And then together it's like, they are. <laughs> when I used to love her, like back, like two thousands when she was Jenny on the block. Yeah. Um, what was the, what was the movie she did? The wedding one, the wedding planner, oh, the wedding planner. Yeah. Loved her in that. So that I, and then uh, enough that movie. Yeah. Hell yeah. But I feel like that Jennifer is no longer with us. Yeah, I don't know what happened to her. She just like got, I don't know. She's just such a diva. And I feel like people she is are... a diva. <laughs> people are like over it. Cause like even, you know, so she's on, she's on tour right now promoting her new album. And the ticket sales were so bad that they like turned it into a greatest hits tour. Ooh. And um, yeah, and she like has a, she put out a documentary about herself and it's not doing very well. And 
I don't know. I feel like it's just like oversaturated and people yeah. are. I didn't know any of this existed, to be honest. I didn't know she was going into her. I didn't know there was a documentary. I didn't know there was a new album. Um, she also did the Super Bowl not too long ago. Oh, yeah. I feel like that might have been the downfall when she was throwing a little fit about it. Yeah, maybe. And people were like, just be happy you did the Super Bowl. So what if you had to <laughs> share the stage? <laughs> yeah, maybe that was it. It's that diva behavior. And I feel like, she, I mean, she... Like her, her biggest asset, right? I can't believe I said that. Um, her biggest, <laughs> we all know what her biggest asset is. Her biggest, what she's bringing to the table is that she's 50 and she's like smoking hot. Like she's yeah. like hotter than like anyone, like the average person will ever be. And, um, and I, I feel like she thinks that's worth more than it is. Like, yeah. Well, like, and that's the vibe I got the Super Bowl time is I was like, who do you think you are? <laughs> like yes you're doing the super bowl but like they're all old songs they're yeah. you're like you're a bit of a has-been even though you're yeah. here right now yeah if i was her i would just take that money and spend it and yeah stop, wor- stop worrying about being famous right because right. she i guess i mean that was one commentator i read said that she like wants to be in the newspaper every day and she like wants to be generating buzz and ben affleck is like over it which i don't mm. think is true i don't think he's over it but um, like, why would you marry J Lo if you didn't want to be in the news? Yeah. Um, R- random question that's on my mind. When's the last time he did a movie? It's been a while, right? I don't know. I don't like him, so I don't ever seek out. I don't even I, know what he's in. I don't seek out his movies. He was in a Batman movie, and I was like, and I love Batman. Batman's my favorite. And I was like, no. was he Batman? Yeah, he was Batman. Okay, I kind of remember this. <laughs> uh, it was like the Batman versus Superman franchise. I don't know if I saw it. So I didn't. And see I like Batman those. too. I didn't see any of those because I was like, I can't support this. Um, um, my favorite Batman, 1989, Tim Burton. Oh, okay. That's my Batman. I don't know if I've seen that one. I like Christian Bale. <sighs> okay, sissy, you gotta go. This is bad. She's so wiggly. <laughs> Just go sit next to me or something. Um. But yeah, I also just like. I mean, listen, I'm sure Jennifer Garner is a human being and she has flaws, but like, who would divorce Jennifer Garner? Like, that's the dumbest thing. Yeah. How did he get her in the first place is what I'm wondering. Seriously. Like, she's just like too nice and wholesome of a person, I feel like, to marry Ben Affleck, but she Mm -hmm. did. And then they got divorced and I'm, I would bet all my money that it was his fault. (laughs) Something tells me. I don't know what it is. Something tells me it was his fault. All right. So it's unclear if they're actually getting divorced or if this is just mismanaged press, but it doesn't look good. Just chaos. Chaos. The chaos of Ben Affleck. And you know what? I don't, I'm not going to wish them well because I don't care. I'm not going to wish them ill, but I don't, I don't care. I don't know them. If they were locals here in Jackson, Michigan, I would keep my distance. <laughs> yeah. You do you. That's I'll a good me over here. They wouldn't like me either. It's fair. Yeah. I mean, they might. I feel like she might like me, but. No. Yeah. He would He would like you. He'd be like, this actually... girl knows how to have fun. <laughs> uh, I actually did see J-Lo once in New York on the street shooting a movie. I can't remember what, what movie it was. It was not on the block. It was in a nice mm. part of town. Right. Um, and she, she is really beautiful. Like she looks like, like a celebrity and she had, well, they were shooting movies. So she literally had a light on her, but mm-hmm. like she had a glow. Yeah. <laughs> in Hollywood, she's just like pretty, but in real life, she's like a 20 out of 10. Yeah. Serious. I mean, that's how, like, I've seen a handful of famous people and almost all of them are like so much better looking than the average person and even if they good looking even if they play an ugly person on tv or like a dweeb or a dork in real like compared to a normal person they're still really good looking (laughs) put them here in jackson michigan (laughs) and everybody will fawn over them (laughs) yeah exactly i mean that's my like i have like a sample size of like five but that's been my experience is like celebrities are you have to be like pretty good looking even to like play like the fat friend or the ugly guy (laughs) (laughs) right i think yeah i think that's true well like Perfect example for me is I've never seen her in real life, but Anne Hathaway, how like so I feel like 
since we were like teenagers and she was in the princess diaries people were like oh she's just not good looking and i'm like what <laughs> who are you looking at she's very good looking yeah yeah for sure and she just keeps getting more attractive as she ages too which is yes. insane uh, <laughs> um all right anything anything more about j-lo and ben no all right so transition over transitioning to some hopeful news or potential marriage rumors. Um, there's been a lot in the media in the last couple of weeks about potentially Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey getting engaged. Do you think it's true? What's your take? Um, I don't know. So I feel like I've just been watching reels of people like, oh, Tree is trying to ease us in to an engagement. And my first thought was, why? Why would she yeah. do that? Why do they? Why do they have to ease she us into to anything? Us. Yeah. And like, do we need a warning? (laughs) Yeah. Like they could just do it and we'd be fine. So that was my first thought. So I was like, this is stupid, but it's like the source of where it came from. It's was it TMZ who put it out? I thought it was entertainment tonight. Oh Oh, yeah. yeah. That makes much more sense. Um, entertainment tonight who apparently has a very good relationship with Taylor and her team, um, and wouldn't risk that by putting out something false. So that's what kind of is giving it like credibility. Don't unplug that. Okay. So if, if they're saying potential engagement or family sees engagement coming in the future, do you think that means they're already engaged? Because I don't think Travis would give Tree or E.T. a heads up if he was going to engage. Wouldn't he want to surprise Taylor with (laughs) it? Unless they together have some plan. She doesn't know exactly when he's proposing, but she has agreed that like, yes, I want to marry you eventually, you know, Whatever. Maybe it's part of the NDA he signed that he has to tell Tree. <laughs> yes, you have to ask my dad and Tree for my hand yeah. in marriage. Yeah, uh, that actually feels plausible to me. <laughs> yeah, I think that makes sense. Tree's like, I'll handle it. I'll yeah. give you my, I'll give you my blessing I'll when I say it's know. time. <laughs> I will give you the green light when I'm ready. Scott, no big deal, but Tree yeah. is the hard one. <laughs> uh, Scott yeah, said well, yes a long time ago. <laughs> Some people have been saying, too, that since they just had this, like, time off, they rented this villa on Lake Como, like, potentially the most romantic place that you could get engaged to somebody, like, on a freaking, like, castle on the lake. Um, He wears sandals sandals. to dinner or something. What was he getting picked on for sandals? And I'm like, they're on a lake. It's fine. He he did look like he was wearing slides. Um, but But then, like, his... Okay, the people that said that, they were talking about, like, you know, his dirty toes are you know he doesn't have good toes come on what man does (laughs) his toe hairs are out he's like probably (laughs) actually i wouldn't be surprised if he gets like manicures and pedicures all the time gets his toes waxed yeah (laughs) um but yeah i i mean yeah i thought he looked good i mean i'm not a big fan of sandals anyway but i liked his checkered shirt i think i i like his style he, he does have good style it's yeah. not anything I would let my husband wear, but did you see that? It's just that, different. That picture of him with like the jeans that were all cut up. I did not like those. Somebody everybody... was like, "What did Taylor's cats do to his jeans?" <laughs> Benjamin Button. <laughs> Benjamin Button. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was funny. Um, yeah, no, I didn't he, like those. He, I like that he takes a big swing. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I was, oh, I, random, but I was in uh, the Philadelphia airport this weekend. And when I was driving to the airport, there was a big billboard of Travis and it, he was selling uh, some energy drink he was endorsing. And um, it was like him like smiling with a thumbs up. And uh, and then on the bottom of the billboard, it said, buy this drink from Jason's brother. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was really funny. That is funny. They have good mar- they have good marketing. I'll, they do. I'll say they're, that. they're funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I I mean, do you think they're already engaged? That's my question. Or do you think it's IRL? I, I, don't, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. They haven't even yeah. I mean, they can do whatever they want, but they haven't even been dating a year. Yeah. yeah. I think I know they know they're gonna yeah. get married eventually i just don't think there's like a plan in motion yet yeah 
And I, and like, yeah, like they're both work. I don't feel like they're in like a super hurry to like get married. Um, yeah, they're fine. Um, there's not really any reason to, other than they want probably want to have a big party. Um, mm-hmm. A couple parties, but, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, but also I feel like when you're like, they're both like 34, 35, like, I feel like when you're that old, you're, you, you can date someone for like six months and be like, yep. You can know. No. Yeah. <laughs> like you don't need to date them for three years and be like, oh, I'm just not sure. Like, yeah, you have enough see. experience to know what, what you want and what you don't. Yeah. And they're already very, like very established in their careers and mm-hmm. they're, they're good to go. I say I let's like do the it, only do thing that would make them like dive right in is if they want to have kids and, and that's like fitting into their schedules somewhere. Yeah. Well, she's got six more months of touring. I know you you said before that she could she could do the heiress tour pregnant and she could, but does she want to? I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to either. Heck no. <laughs> Three hours of intense physical and plus, well, like, you... there's no predicting if you're gonna be sick. Yeah. What if she has like an awful pregnancy? Yeah, and, she couldn't. She couldn't do it. And she'd be like jet lagged, flying all over the place. Yeah. And... I skipped a wedding that I was supposed to be a bridesmaid in from oh, yeah? being pregnant and just like wanting to barf everywhere yeah I was like I, I there's no way I could even stand for that long up there I would have hit the ground yeah did you do it the day of or well oh, it how, was like during co- it was like during COVID oh yeah so the the actual wedding was like canceled they were still going to get married and then they eventually just ended up doing like a little like she didn't even wear her wedding dress they just did a little quick thing at the church and I was like I can't, I can't come. It was like, I'm at home. I can't. So yeah. it, it was, it was one of those where like the real wedding didn't end up happening anyway. So I was kind of off the hook, but yeah. if the real wedding would have been happening, I don't know what I would have done. Yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds rough. I... So to do the heiress tour. Mm-mm. Yeah. So to do, yeah, she has like, there's one, she has a couple, she usually does like three shows a week, but she has a couple where she's did like done like four and then. And I think when she's in London, she does like six shows or something. Like, oh, so she's like piling them in. Yeah. Um, so all that to say, she's. I mean, she's invincible. She can do it if she wants to, but I would not recommend. Would not recommend. Um, yeah. Also, it's probably just easier if they get married and then have a baby. But hey, mm-hmm. who am I to say? I, I, while we're on Taylor having babies someday, if she wants to. I cannot stand there. I've seen multiple videos of her. I think the one I saw, she was in the reputation outfit and people are like, oh my God, she's pregnant. And I'm like, no, that's, she had, she had dinner. Like that's, I cannot. that's what I look like after breakfast. Like people are so fucking stupid. Yeah. I don't, this is why celebrities are anorexic, including yes. Taylor, is because this is every why they're <laughs> barfing up their meals. If you can't see your ribs, people are like, you must be pregnant, or wow, you really let yourself go. She's like... with child. <laughs> uh, that brings us back to the pictures when they were on their vacation, and people are like, saying they were, not like out of shape, what were they saying? They were like dad and normal, mom bods. Normal bods, yeah. And when in reality, they're both in like, insanely good shape they are literally professional athletes yes <laughs> uh that people, blew my mind and i thought we were past that people commenting that are like couch professional couch potatoes who like are on yes. the computer all day can't and, like, run a mile I can't do a pull i can't i tried to do a pull-up yesterday i can't do it that's why i, I can't run a mile <laughs> yeah like it's uh, it's infuriating to me. And I thought I thought as a society we were past that. I thought we had this like very good body positivity thing going, but I'm I was wrong. I don't I thought that too, but I'm surprised um like we we've been talking about Ozempic a little bit and I th- I actually think Ozempic is going to bring back body shaming. <laughs> no, like I yeah, I think it's bringing yeah. back sissy don't show your butt. I think it's um I think skinny is back in. Like yeah. an unhealthy skinny. Well, for some, most people, it's an unhealthy skinny. Yeah. Um, and if you just happen to be shaped that way, you're blessed at the moment. But yeah. it's, yeah, I think it's bringing back NRX. Yeah. Yeah. I Like, I I mean, I, hey, I love the body positivity moment. And I, I definitely feel like less judged for my body in recent years. But like, the, 
I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of that was coming. Some of it was coming from a good place of just like, don't be mean to people because they're overweight. And some yeah. of it, some of it was people who like couldn't conform to the beauty standard, like rebelling against it, being like, I don't care. Like being fat is beautiful mm-hmm. and it doesn't matter if it's bad Screw for your you health. guys. Yeah. <laughs> but like, yeah, now that there's Ozempic, they're like forgetting about health and forgetting about like loving people, no matter right. what they look like. So yes. it's very, it's very hypocritical. People are very fickle and <laughs> yes. um, yeah. So like the big butts are out which works for me. I got no booty. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm sure it'll be, we'll be fine. fine. It'll be, fine. we'll be fine. <laughs> um, well, I hope the engagement rumors are true. Hope they get married soon. He's the one. Yeah. Um, and I, I do think I'm sure she's got eggs frozen, so I'm not worried. Oh, about... she's I don't fine. think she. I don't think she needs to rush. Is what I'm saying. She'll probably use a surrogate. They'll probably grow their baby in a glass jar. Really? I don't. I think she definitely won't use a surrogate. Um, I feel like the only reason she would is if she wants to keep her career just flooring, flooring it. Which she might, but I just she might. I just feel like she okay. The one of one of the things I hate when people talk about Taylor Swift is how she's like this like ultra feminist career woman who's like telling all these girls not to get married. And it's like, have you listened to one Taylor Swift song? Like she's this, trying so hard to get this married. This girl has been trying to get married since she was sixteen. Like, right? It's all Give she's her a break. ever all she has ever wanted is to be <laughs> married and have children. She and wants this, her happily ever after. This songwriting thing is just a, a plan B. Like, yes, it's when she's pissed. <laughs> so like, I, and I, I mean, that's not true. Like, I know she loves her career and she like wants to be successful, but like to say that she's like, like the champion anti-marriage. of anti-marriage. Yeah. It's like to say that she's like, yeah, anti-marriage or the champion of the single girl or like, you gotta telling go, girls, I can't help you. Telling girls not to get married is such a lie. All she's doing is saying, don't marry a bun- a loser like the guys I've been dating. That's why yes. I didn't marry them. <laughs> don't let them mistreat you. <laughs> yeah. And she like calls out guys for acting a fool. And I don't, I don't At know. At no point is she like, we're fine without men. Yeah, Marriage def- is useless. Definitely not. Um, so yeah. So that I feel like that's, it pisses me off when people do that. Because that's yeah. obviously not what she's about. She, I wouldn't be surprised if she just moves away to Kansas and has six kids and forgets about us. I can see that. I can see that. I am worried about what is she going to write about now if there's no man pissing her off. Um, I don't know. Probably she's going to have to. Probably... We've said it. We've said it before. She's going to have to go back to country. <laughs> yeah, or she can do more like writing stories about other people. More folklore. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. What is the? Is folklore the one? I, I haven't seen any of the Gilmore Girls, so I don't know. But I've, I keep seeing all these reels that are like, this song is actually about the Gilmore Girls. Yeah, and it's like, they're saying Champagne Problems was written oh. about Rory, I think. I never watched the Gilmore Girls, so I don't I don't know that connection. But that's what yeah. I saw. Which I don't think is really true. But um, or maybe I mean, maybe a little true. But um, but she could yeah. do that is what I'm saying is like draw on other stories from she could history or literature or tv yeah she's proven she can yeah but as long as she i mean i I don't want her to stop making music but i want her to be happy so whatever she wants to do is okay with me just do it (laughs) just do it all Um, right i we're at 35 minutes but i just have to throw in i am on the last episode of only murders in the building (laughs) the final like season three like season three oh I season three has sent me into outer space. I love it so much. The Pickwick triplets. Oh my gosh. It is like all of my favorite things thrown into one. Are they going to make a season four? Yeah, they are. Oh, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to be it. sad then. I, I actually, love this show. I'm so glad. I actually did start rewatching it because you wa- were watching it. So I watched Yeah. I finished season one and it was so... It was so good. It's better it's than anything. So good. I like want to watch it more than anything else new that I haven't seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, so you also recommended Dairy Girls for me. And after dropping my kids off at school this morning, I was like, what do I like more, Dairy Girls or Only Murders in the Building? 
and it's only murders for sure. Oh, okay. And I, I love Dairy Girls too. Tough call. Um, yeah, tough call. Um, yeah. Who do you think is the murderer? So right now they think it's Donna, and that's okay. checking out for me. Okay. Um, and I also so I I messaged you at one point and I was like, "Does gut milk become relevant? Don't tell me." And uh, the fact that it hasn't, I just I love gut milk. It's one of like my favorite parts of the whole show. It's just like there. It's in so many scenes and it's so like they just talk about it every once in a while. And once gut milk, once they clarified that it had alcohol in it, again, into outer space. I loved it. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a beautiful show. It's really good. So um, good. And so weird, like Martin Short and Steve Martin and Selena Gomez. What a weird yeah. trio, but they work okay. together so well. I also have a confession. I'm finding myself oddly attracted to Martin Short in season three. <laughs> what is going it's on? Just, it's just because Meryl Streep wants him. Now that she has him, you, like now you want him too. <laughs> I think you and my dad have that in common. Cause I've been watching, I, I watch it with my parents and my dad, like if anytime Martin Short talks, my dad audibly, like he can't not laugh. He just oh thinks he's gosh. the funniest man in I the get world. It. And he I get is. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I think Martin Short's a good guy too. He um he was like married to the same woman for like thirty years until she died. Oh, uh, well done. And um and there were some rumors that he was dating Meryl Streep recently in real life. Yeah, and like there was All like right. some pictures I saw on Instagram of him. There was like a side by side of Taylor and Travis going to dinner in New York, and then and then uh, Marilyn Mar- Martin. <laughs> Mar- yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> it's like the new it couples in town <laughs> yeah i like but that i don't know if it came to anything or if they just went out to dinner a couple times they're just but, friends yeah um but yeah hopefully no. we can add them to the engagement list yeah <laughs> <laughs> we yeah that would be awesome yeah i like that um well i'm glad you like it maybe, maybe we can talk more about it sometime but yeah um, we'll give it its own episode someday yeah next week um well i hope you guys enjoyed the marriage and divorce episode of Your Bitch Pack Friends. Bye. Bye.